Now we are celebrating GMA's best Memorial Day ever. We have someone with us who's been called the most successful stand-up comedian since Steve Martin. High praise and deserved because. Mr. Cook, you have sold out Madison Square Garden. You are the first comedian to headline at the Staples Center. These are really big accolades. You have to be proud and thank you for being here. Absolutely great to be here. Uh, great to be here with all of these guys. Woo! Greatest uh, military. And for the people at home who don't know this, our military is so mighty, so strong. These flags, actual size. You don't know this at home. These are, <laughs> these are big guys. <laughs> now, you've taken time to be with the troops. You've gone, you've entertained. I did. I went over to uh, Iraq and uh, Kuwait uh, last year. Going to be going over, doing some stuff with the USO, Afghanistan uh, this year. I had an uh, interesting situation. Uh, I was uh, over in Iraq. I uh, got to uh, meet one of the handles with the uh, bomb-sniffing dogs over there. And he was running through the paces. He's showing me his tricks. And he says, would you like to uh, see the dog speak? I said, certainly. He says, speak. And mid, uh, the dog just right into my arm, just bites right in. And, of course, my first thought, there's a bomb in my arm. That's fantastic. <laughs> this is, I was all right. There was no bomb in his arm, by the way. Safe and sound. It's a very conscientious audience. They're now <laughs> going to email. They're going to tweet. You're tweeting now. They will tweet you and say, is your arm okay from the bomb? The social uh, networking, uh, I'm, I'm into all that. Uh, more of a MySpace guy. That's kind of my home base. I've tried Facebook. I don't really like it because I got poked by a zombie. I don't really know what that means. <laughs> and he bought me a cocktail and planted a tree in my honor. I'm not sure what's going on in there, but I do social network from time to time. The Internet, very fundamental to your development, though. I mean, early on, when we first started hearing about you, you were on the internet making a name for yourself before others were. Yeah, it was uh, really my way of kind of, you know, sharing my comedy and putting clips out there and finding finding my fans. Uh, it was, uh, you know, this is my 19th year now doing stand-up comedy uh, with the release of Isolated Incident this mm -hmm. week. It'll be my fifth uh, album. So it's just, uh, it's a great time to be out there and certainly we need the laughs right now. Absolutely. And uh, we're bringing it to them. Now, you do this very in a very interesting way, Isolated Incident. You are known for bringing these big crowds in as we bragged on you earlier on. But this is intimate. This was just a few hundred people, right? I did, yeah. Uh, the prior specials were, you know, 20,000 people or Madison Square Garden. And uh, some of the material was certainly... Um it's been an interesting few years, mm -hmm. uh, long story short, and I felt like if I kind of, you know, confided myself to a smaller stage, had one camera, uh, the eyes are the window to the soul, and I had some great stories that I wanted to really be able to share uh, intimately, up close and personal. Tough decision. You know, you dealt with really serious life-changing incidents. You lost your parents. Sure. You had other personal issues you've dealt with. Doing it on the stage as comedy, where is the release for you? Well, it's, it's cathartic, and when you can find a moment, uh, you know, I lost uh, both of my parents to cancer and uh, certainly you're looking at that saying you know where's the humor in that but we all need that pinprick and if you can find that uh, slight place to uh, bring light into a dark situation we can all uh, you know uh, have lightness inside of us so, it works uh, for you it. and often you know makes your audience laugh absolutely 100 well. percent huh. you've been working on economy jokes you got like recession stuff working now? Uh, yeah I'm just actually out there bringing the laughs right to the people that's what we're doing on the isolated incident tour right now and uh, you know 40 cities and just uh, bringing laughs right to you live. The best, uh, the best way to do it. The movie career going well, but do you prefer the stand-up still? Stand-up is uh, certainly, you, you want that instant reaction. Uh, it's still glamorous to me all these years later, sharing a thought directly with your audience. Uh, there's no better way to go. The, the movies are fun, though, but uh, stand-up is definitely my baby. When can we get Isolated Incident? Uh, it's in stores. Uh, it came right out uh, this uh, last week, and uh, you can pick it up. It's online. You can download it right now. Beautiful. Let's get some laughs from a very smart and funny guy, Mr. Cook. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for Thank you, everyone. Happy Memorial Day.